uh, like when we walked in, we were like, what poem should we read? And then you kind of look at the crowd and you're like, mm -hmm. for show sure we should do this one. Like it seemed like something the crowd was interested in and ready for, and the people before us kind of like set it up for that. So it's all, listen, if, if we could see everything with perfect vision, we would see that it was like this perfect, organic, balanced out, whatever's after a sphere, like circle, sphere, whatever we can't imagine. Everything is that, and we just played our part in it. Is, is, anyone, is anyone here from New York City? Is, is Brooklyn in the house? No. That's cool. I live in New York City. Uh, this is the farthest north I've ever been ever. in my life. Uh, Eden just told me that like an hour ago. Fun little fact. <laughs> I am from Picked from mother's womb, weak and willowed, perhaps destined to be scrawled across an early tomb. C-section. Doctors told her it was impossible to have one child, let alone three. I was birthed, drifting down the deathly internal bleeding of my mother's uterus. She wrote it almost to her death. Twenty years later, she would be diagnosed with a bleeding disorder. This, this all could, could have, have been, been easily, easily avoided. avoided. Corrupted uterus and ovaries had her first child at age 23, but she wasn't even supposed to live to see age 18. My father was told that his wife had died and his son would be mentally disabled. His tears touched my face before his hands did. I was held as the last piece of his wife for the first moments of my life. I was birthed head first Fist raised, full head of hair, shape of an afro, infrared, pressed into forehead, birth certificate could read more like death sentence. My mom says she remembers coming back from the dead. Said she knew she had to raise me, to watch me grow. And now I carry her bleeding disorder with me through my inability to clot as a reminder of where and from whom I am from. I am from, not so sunny, no surfboard, California. Berkeley, South Berkeley, where, where sunsets, sunsets run, run bright red over bloodshed, bloodshed streets while these rich kids in big beds get sung to sleep. Growing up, I remember hearing my dad's voice reading me stories over the crocheted calling of gunfire. I asked him what it was. He said, pain. I am from San Bernardino, California, where tumbleweeds in the breeze symbolize my city's invisibility and polluted skies make my sunsets come in blood red. Where I'm from, see, we didn't have snow days. We had smog days, during which kids like me would crowd into asbestos-infested hallways, trading Ritalin and inhalers, waiting to go outside and play. At Grove Street Park, on what used to be Grove Street, but now it's Martin Luther King Jr. Way. It's the place youth learned to shoot dice cross tennis courts, so we naturally always wondered what the nets were for. Growing up playing basketball, cheered on by Bums. They were the best fans you could ask for. <laughs> Until they got drunk and passed out. Sun beating off their half-empty old English cans connected to their mouths by a thin string of spit like Berkeley, barely hanging on to an activist past. Like being a vegan has replaced stomping on police cars well, where I'm from. Um, our favorite game was having water fights, and I still recall holding my 99 cent store bought knockoff Super Soaker 150, slightly cocked to the side like Wesley Snipes pointed point blank into my next door neighbor's temple and this kid is saying some shit like, my mom said I can't get wet. <laughs> Motherfucker, ain't nobody's mom ever said they couldn't get wet. It's 112 degrees outside. Do you really want to die from asphyxiation? No. And I know it seems so silly back then, but long since this, we've witnessed super soakers evolve into semi-automatics. Survivors, survivors built into my roots. My veins pushed the bloodline of my family who had their tongues cut out and burned so we could see the fire in our voices. I, I speak. speak breath laced with their ashes, so I exhale them into existence. Where I'm from? Boys tattoo their fallen homies on t-shirts and breathe life back into their bodies through blunts like 
This one's for Jamal. I've internalized the bullets buried into their temples, performed internal origami and spit out 18 steel doves, took pain and turned it into love. I am from smoke screens, dime sacks, quarter bags, Philly blunts, gut spilled, cross streets like deferred dreams. Like, like they slit our tongues open and take our words and paste them across billboards. And we be juiced like, yo, if we're on an advertisement, it must mean we exist. <laughs> That's how they commercialize our culture and sell it back to us like God praying to us to make the world a better place. I am from Robin Baker, Ralph Silver. My younger brother being adopted when I was three because my mom's bleeding meant she could no longer conceive. And I always wondered if it was because of me. Because I'm born, living reminder of my mom's inability to bear life in the future. Felt like I was supposed to be enough for all of these children my mom could never have. I have been blessed with this brother who dreams in colors no prophets could predict. I named him David because when they asked me, I was just three and I thought my name was David and he was just a little version of me. Where I'm from, my cousin, Mynesha Crenshaw, died in November of 2005. She and her 14-year-old sister were shot through the kitchen window. Just last week, Cops turned Gary King into a ghost chalk outlined on the street. The last time I remember seeing Gary, he was best friends with my little brother, playing in the backyard. My Nisha was 11. And where I'm from, there's a law being named after her under which unintentional killings and gang-related shootings would be automatically punishable by the death penalty. Gary's smile stretched from Neverland to infinity in every direction. He had these eyes gaping wide, like hope. And now I don't understand how killing seven other people will ever bring my Nisha back to life. So now I'm explaining to my little brother, across 3,000 miles in this faulty Verizon network, that sometimes the most painfully tragic events can lead to an amazing collection of love. I promise I am from too many guns, too much dope, so much struggle, so much hope. I'm from guns turned in on themselves, twisted into tongues. Speaking back all the people they've taken from us, from, from heaven's, heaven's gates, gates burn, burn them down to use as scrap metal to, to build, build tomorrow. tomorrow. I, I am from. from. Time traveler. <laughs>